Okay. Okay, so we've just performed a profit loss analysis for sports feet manufacturing. Um, we have the formulas entered down here in these cells, and they're based upon the inputs from above. Again, this is an example problem. Now, the profit loss analysis assumed that we were going to produce 2,000 units. Now, with 2,000 units, sports feet manufacturing loses $20,000 annually. And so we need to find the break-even point or the break-even quantity that we start to make money or the point at which revenue equals cost. So we want to use the goal seek function from Excel. It's actually in the tools menu. We click on tools, we go to goal seek, and we get the dialog box for the goal seek tool. Um, generally, whichever cell is selected at the time, it will automatically put into the set cell box in this dialog box. But that's not the one we want to use. What we want to use is the annual profit loss function, and that's found in cell B15. Now, as you saw, to enter in formulas or to enter cells into this, we simply highlight this area and click on the cell that we want to use. The other method of doing this is clicking on this arrow box right here. There's a little red arrow on it. You click on that and you click on the cell. It works the same way. And then once you're done, you you click on the arrow again and it goes back to the dialog box. That's not necessary, but it can be done that way. Now, we want to set this cell to a value of 0 because when the profit function equals 0, the only time that happens is when total revenue equals total cost. At what other point does total revenue equal total cost? Well, that's what we call the break-even point. Now, Excel needs to use one of our inputs over here to manipulate this profit loss function. Naturally, we want to change the cell for quantity because we're looking for the break-even quantity. So we're going to enter this cell in by clicking again and it automatically enters it into this dialog box. It's going to change the cell until the profit loss is equal to zero. And so in this way it will automatically find our break-even quantity. To do that I simply, after entering in each of these dialog boxes, I push the OK button and it automatically finds the break-even quantity. It comes up with this dialog box that says Goal seeking with cell B15 found a solution. The target value was zero, speaking of the profit loss function, and the current value was zero, so it was successful. Now the cell we had to change to find that was quantity, and so here we have the break-even quantity. Therefore, we have completely showed how to use goal seek to find the break-even quantity. I'm going to push OK to close this, and the next video will go into more details on the same example.